History Highlights Memorable Moments from the Council Bluffs Metro Area Past Presented by the Historical Society of Pottawatomie County Lake Manawa did build itself as the Coney Island of the Midwest. Lake Manawa was a trolley park. And a trolley park is essentially part of a streetcar system. It is a reason for the rider to take and pay for a streetcar ticket. So what evolved out of uh, basically just from taking people to the lake for fun, um, it it became essentially a a part of the streetcar network. The park changed and evolved over time. When it first started, it really catered to the clientele that was rich. It was a place to go and be seen. And so you wore your best clothes. That's when the rich people were camping down there and they named their cabins and all that kind of stuff. And as the Midway grew in popularity, less and less rich people kept coming because they didn't want to associate with those kind of people. A shooting gallery, and I'm quite sure they used live bullets. And then of course, there was a Lake Manawa band and they would play in this little gazebo area when they weren't playing in the pavilion. They would also host visiting bands as well. Here you have the soda fountain, which was popular. Miss Fishbaugh, at the same time every night, soaked herself in gasoline, lit herself on fire, and jumped in the water. I loved the stories of when they tried to emulate the water scene pageant that had been at the World's Fair. They tried to emulate. That was really neat. In 1905, we had elephants come upon the lake, the Hagenbach Circus. Apparently it was really hot and the elephants needed some water, so they just brought them on down. The roller coaster, I'm not sure how far out that went. I mean, there are houses on each side of the ice cream place now. I mean, this looks to be a pretty good sized roller coaster. We have very little information on what roller coaster was there. I contacted a roller coaster historian, how fast they went, which was only like 10, 15 miles an hour, and there was no seat belt. (laughs) Some of those things were all fun to me. And so there's a picture of the roller coaster, and there's an even older picture of the roller coaster, and it burnt down. And that's one of the tragedies of parts of the lake, as it was an amusement park, or Mecca of the Midwest, was that sometimes they would burn down or break down or fall down. And then as time went by, uh, they were not able to be replaced, and it, it added to the closing of the park. When there were a lot of storms and tornadoes, several of the buildings were destroyed by fire or tornado. Second was, we got cars. People didn't have to only rely on a streetcar to take you down to the road and stop and come back home. Um, You could go anywhere. And the third was, the rich people stopped coming because the Midway had become more and more popular, and so they weren't there spending money anymore. In the mid-1920s, there was a group of men from Chicago that were associated with the Mafia and they started buying up Manawa Park. Well, Manawa Park, according to all accounts, had this family feel to it. It was an amusement park and families could go there, sort of like Peony Park used to have. Once these guys from Chicago took it over, there was a lot more crime. They started to have prostitutes uh, walking around in the park, actually, rather than at the hog ranch or, you know, in places after dark, that sort of thing. And so people stopped going and the park closed. And at the same time, you got to remember, you had Takwa, you got Lake Manawa, you got Cortland Beach, what is now Carter Lake. You all also have Seymour Lake outside of Ralston and Krug Park, and what's now Benson. And so basically, the market was oversaturated, is what I'd say. There's only so many, you know, entertainment dollars to go around, right? History is never truly lost until it's forgotten. And preserving that history is our mission. The Historical Society of Pottawatomie County in Council Bluffs, Iowa.